we're going to look at a gas law. We're going to look at Boyle's law, which uh, relates the pressure of a gas to its volume if you hold the temperature constant. So what I have and what I'm going to use is a simple tire pump. When I pull up the, the handle of the tire pump, it draws a sample of air of a given amount into the tube in a given volume. Now, normally I press it down and it goes into the tire. But what I'm going to do now is clamp it shut so that any air that I draw in, when I press down on the plunger, it will decrease the volume of this sample of air, but the air won't have anywhere to go. It won't be going into a tire or anything. So I'm going to clamp it, sealing up its outlet. Then I'll draw some air into the cylinder and reduce the volume. Remember, the air comes in elsewhere through a valve arrangement and is pushed out here normally. So we'll be able to draw air into it, but the air can't come out. We'll have a sealed sample once that happens. So here's our apparatus down on the floor where I can use it. And we're looking right down on the pressure gauge. So I'm gonna draw in a sample of air Then we'll press it. Remember, I'm going to be decreasing the volume of the air inside that tube when I press the plunger down. And we see that the pressure goes up. When I release it, the pressure starts to go back down. So let's review that. When I drew the sample of air into the pump, I had a fixed volume. It was plugged at the end. When I pressed down, I decreased the volume. The piston in here came down and the volume decreased. And as we saw, the pressure increased. And as I increased the volume, the pressure decreased. Increased or decreased volume, increased pressure. That's opposite directions. That's inverse proportionality.